I thought about how today in the Western world or in every country that celebrates Mother's Day, how much we honour mothers on this day. And I thought about the fact that it's great for this day, but mothers don't always aren't always made feel that honoured in Western society. It's not always like this. Our society puts a lot of pressure on mums. When I was growing up, and you know that's becoming a few years ago now, it was like it was almost frowned upon if mothers actually worked. I was meant to be home looking after kids. Whereas nowadays, it's almost the opposite. You know, if you're not seeking a career for mums who really want to stay home, almost that's almost frowned upon. You know? If you rouse at your children in public, you're a bad mother. If you don't discipline your children in public, you're a bad mother. That children needs a good... If your children get older and go through a rebellious patch, well, the feeling, what did I do wrong? Let's be honest, this day is great, but a lot of the time our society puts a lot of pressure on mothers to fulfil an expectation. Where did that expectation come from? And the part that's almost that really concerns me is sometimes this judgment that society places is then projected onto God. And can I be real here? I've heard some pathetic teaching over the years what a good Christian mother is supposedly like. And to be honest, it's just Western society trying to fit in to a God model. I want to say something to all ladies here. I want to give good news for mothers. And the good news is this. Those expectations do not come from the heart of God. Let's, let's hear what God says. He says a lot, but I just want to pick one verse out of the hundreds and thousands. And this is from Genesis 1, 27. This is in the midst of the creation stories. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Did you hear that? Male and female, he created them in his image. Ladies, mothers, when God looks at you, he sees past the imperfections that we all have. He sees past the mistakes that we all make. He sees in you a reflection of himself. I'm going to say that again because it's important. Mothers, ladies, when God looks at you, he sees a reflection of himself, of all his greatness, all his love, all his compassion, all his wonder, all his creativity, all that God is. He sees a reflection of that in you. Yes, it's true, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Yes, that gets in the way that masks our capacity to appreciate God fully. And that's very real. But the good news is all of that and all of the expectations that society puts on you and all of the ways that you may have felt over the years that you haven't met those expectations, they don't have the last word. The last word is the first word. And the first word is you are created in the image of this loving, amazing God. Where others may heap judgment, God sees delight. Where others may feel you don't make the grade, he says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. A love that cannot be taken away, cannot be diminished, cannot be robbed in any way. And the same power that raised Jesus from the dead is in you because he was created in your in. You are created in his image and that means you have within you the power to tra be transformed more and more into his delight. And so that means we can freely surrender all our inadequacies to him, surrender all that judgment to him and the more we catch a vision of God sees us, that's the real deal. 
That's the real deal, not society's expectations. Because when we know we're loved, when we know we're delighted, our life in him flows out of that, not repressed by all the stuff the world puts on us. But there's even some more good news today. We're all here, some of us with our family, or we're here celebrating this day because we have family. Wider family, or this is our family. There's a place where we're loved. There's a place where we can enjoy this day. But my heart goes out for the many, many people for whom this day is agonising. It's agonising for people who may have lost their mums between now and the last Mother's Day. It's agonising for women who may have longed to have children and don't. It's, it's agonising for mums who are estranged from their children or children estranged from their mothers. It's painful where the image of mother is not one of love but one of abuse and bitterness out of that's flowed out of their own brokenness. This day, friends, is painful for so many people. This day, when, when people turn on their TVs and see those ads of Mother's Day and see those expensive gifts and see those mother and daughter meeting at the coffee club with their designer clothes and their designer hair and it all looks wonderful and loving, that creates pain for many people. Now, here's some more good news. For those people... Jesus is looking for them. Jesus is searching for them. They may feel rejected and set aside and discarded and condemned because of all of the brokenness that has led to this annihilation, but Jesus is searching for them. That's what he did when he walked the face of the planet. He didn't hang around with those that had it all. He searched for those who were hurting. He searched for those who were misfits. He searched for the, out for those who were discarded. And he poured his love and grace and acceptance on them and said, there is hope. There is hope. Because you're loved. You're valued. Your failings don't have the last word. And friends, knowing that can be the first step of healing and hope for so many people. And I'd put out a challenge to us all as we celebrate this special day and honour those that are near and dear to us and, and cherish those who mean so much to us. Let's remember to pray for those for whom that isn't the case. Pray that they may encounter the one who says, hey, it's okay. There's always a fresh start. The one who would say to them, hey, you know what? There is not one stuff up that you have done that is stronger than my love for you. And you know what? How do they find him? Through us. Through those of us who know him, we are the hands, the feet, the face, the voices of Jesus. And that love that we have known, if we look for opportunities to flow that to others, if we come in an, the opposite spirit to what society often comes, discarding those who don't fit the mould of nice little Western middle class society, if we have the opportunity to flow love and grace and acceptance, we are flowing, we are flowing the heart of Jesus himself. So this day, to summarise, to take a few from Heather, to summarise, <laughs> one, if you have often felt you don't meet the expectations, oh, I'm a terrible mother, send the thought to hell where it belongs and remember you were created in the image of this awesome God. And secondly, out of the overflow of that, let our hearts flow for those who've been discarded. And let us find ways of reflecting God's love and grace and hope to them. God bless you. Have a great rest of the Mother's Day. Let's end. Can I end with prayer? Father, we do now. We stop and thank you for all of the mums and the mums in the Lord. 
in our midst. Bless you for them, Lord. And may this be a day when they are honoured and firm and celebrate your love for them. And we pray for those, Lord, who are hurting, who do feel discarded, who do feel pain on this day. And we pray, Lord, you will touch that pain with your healing love. Jesus, healer, be lifted up in their hearts, in their lives on this day and ours, Lord, because we too are on a healing journey. And now may your grace, your love and your peace be with us now and always. Amen.